prepared to go into the United Nations at this point and ask that charges be brought against the United States for its treatment of American Negroes? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes, please. I think you're right in my chair. The audience will have to be quiet. <laughs> uh, yes, the, as I pointed out when I was in, during my traveling, that nations look, African nations and Asian nations and Latin American nations look very hypocritical when they stand up in the United Nations condemning the racist practices of South Africa and that which is practiced by Portugal and Angola and saying nothing in the UN about the racist practices uh, that are, that are uh, manifest every day against Negroes in this society. Even in South Africa, those Africans, uh, aren't faced with bayonets and aren't faced with police dogs. I, I would be not a man. If I was in a position to bring it in front of the United Nations and didn't do so, I wouldn't be a man. Malcolm, do you intend to lead the charge uh, in the United Nations? Well, I, I find that to say you're going to lead something creates a lot of hostility, division, jealousy, and envy. Uh, I hope to, to work with any group of leaders or any group of organizations to do whatever is necessary to see that this problem is brought before the United Nations. Have you had any commitment from any nations in Africa to support your I move? I would rather not say at this time, but one thing I found in my travels, all of them look at, upon us as their long lost brother. You realize the implication is that you have had such commitments when you say this. This is your that. interpretation of what I said. <laughs> uh, 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 one thing that I found in all of my travels was that uh, all of the Africans, not only the Africans, but the Asians and the Muslims, look upon us as their long lost brothers. And America had actually tricked many of them uh, into uh, a hands-off policy by giving them the impression that she was honestly trying to do something to solve the problem. My argument over there was designed to prove that it is impossible for the United States government to solve the race problem. It's impossible. Malcolm, on your trip abroad, you said you sensed a feeling of great brotherhood and that conceivably you would be working toward integration in this country now. At least this is what you're reported to have said. Have you any comment on it? I don't think that I ever uh, mentioned anything about working toward integration. They haven't even got integration right here in New York City. You have worse integration problems in the North than they have in the South. So if it doesn't work in, if, if you can't bring about integration in New York City, as international, cosmopolitan, up-to-date as it's supposed to be, you will never get integration anywhere else in the country. Are you prepared to work with some of the leaders of the other civil rights organizations? Certainly. Certainly. We will work with any uh, groups, organizations, or leaders in any way, as long as it's genuinely designed to get results. 